everybody, how are you all doing today? I'm very well, thank you. My name is Jodie Lakin. I'm sorry, I'm having a little giggle to myself because I just made up my own song to test my microphone, which is called Testa Rooney, but we <laughs> I won't sing that for you. Um, I have my microphone on like full gain, so hopefully you can hear everything today because I did want to explain a little bit before we started. I might jump in a voiceover after. Um, but today I'm going to be working in my Toy Story book again. Um, I did have a couple of questions about this. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I made this book, um, the little golden book journal. It's it's a bit shabby. I've got to be honest. I'm going with shabby chic here because uh, <laughs> the other one I made was like immaculate. It was beautiful. Um, but this one's a little... <laughs> it's not the best. But I kind of like it. I kind of like that it's a little messy. It's a bit like me. I'm a little messy too. So there we go. Um, so today we are going to be looking at, or I am going to be looking at and showing you some of the artwork from the movie Luca. Now the other night I watched it for the very first time and oh my goodness, what a beautiful movie. I was really surprised too that it was just free on Disney Plus. Like you didn't have to pay extra for like the premiere. It was just there. It was just on there. It was so cute. And it was such a lovely movie. And I knew immediately that I would feel inspired by it. So I had my sketchbook at the ready in my hands while I was watching the movie. And this is what I sketched while I was watching the movie. Um, <laughs> and I really liked it. I like it so much that I want to add more to it and I want to paint it. I also did some little houses here. You can see where I've erased some things that I've drawn and like redrawn them. Um, so I just wanted to continue drawing here, filling in the space. And I wanted to add a little bit of paint to it too. I really do like it as pencil drawings. I think it's very sweet. Um, but I just, I love the colour of Luca and his friend too. I think they have like this beautiful, uh, what do you call it, like a gradient. So I really want to try and do that today. So that's three minutes in and <laughs> I've just been waffling. I'm in a really funny mood today as well, which is also very fun. So we have a picture of Alberto. It was difficult but I got there in the end. If you, um, I want him to be quite small actually, in the distance. Um, oh, that didn't work. If you Google a picture of Alberto, <laughs> you just get lots of random people that are called Alberto come up. So don't do that. <laughs> Type in Alberto, uh, what's the movie called? Luca. Anyway, the movie was really beautiful. I really liked it. And I also liked that it wasn't too heavy on the on the heart because these Pixar movies, they do get me every every time and I was just really happy that it wasn't super heavy cuz even though I love that, it can be hard. <laughs> so, I'm glad that it wasn't too too heavy. So I've just switched to this thinner pencil because um, this pencil is 0 0.3. Why you would need a 0 0.3 pencil, I don't know, but I'm enjoying it very much because um, it makes drawing this small really easy, or much easier. So as I'm just drawing from the movie, I didn't do my own inter interpretations of these characters. I just kind of wanted wanted to draw them. Um, I feel like once I've drawn them a couple of times and I understand like their features and maybe things that are important for the characters, like their little fins and the colors and their facial structures. Once I've understood that about the characters, I think then I I can do my own interpretation of the character. Um, 
because I'll feel more confident that I know the character well. And because they're new characters, um, I don't know them that well. So like for Luca here, I had to look like, well, what does, do his shorts look like? And what does his tail look like? Whereas if I think of somebody like Woody or Buzz, like I pretty much know exactly what they look like and what their costumes look like. Um, so at first, I just want to kind of get a good, his arm doesn't need to be that thick, get a good, a good sketch of them down. And I might learn something along the way too. Um, if I'm sketching them like this. So that that's kind of always in my mind as well. That I'm trying to learn something while I'm sketching. But I really, I really enjoyed um, sketching while watching this movie because I didn't really have to pay that much attention. It was quite a cute and simple storyline. Um, it was nothing too drastic that I felt like if I looked away from the screen, I would miss some important detail. It was really sweet. And my, my favorite part was probably when they were just playing, when they were trying to build the Vespa. <laughs> so cute. But it really reminded me of when I was a kid and we used to like build dens and things like that. Me and my brothers used to go off and build dens and just tree houses and things like that. And it would be like the project of the summer and nothing else would matter until that project was completed so I totally I totally understand um <laughs> and relate to Luca and Alberto and like I said I like that it wasn't so hard hitting I could just enjoy it and not worry so much oops I bought this tiny eraser recently it's um it's by Tombow. Uh, it's a mono eraser and it just look how much is in there. Isn't that impressive? And this tiny little thing. Um and it just twists out like that. Isn't it cute? And it's got uh the Cheshire cat on it. But I've used it so much. I wasn't sure if I would because I have this one too, which is a thinner, very small for like small detail eraser, which is also mono and it's also very useful. Um, but I love that one. It's really nice. I actually love their feet as well. This is such a weird thing, but <laughs> in the movie, uh, Jack, my husband pointed this out. He was like, look how thick their toes are. <laughs> they had like massive toes. And, um, <laughs> I just thought that was so funny that he noticed. It's like, they have massive toes. It was really sweet. These huge toes. Not when they're sea creatures, by the way. Like, just when they're boys. They have these huge toes. I also quite... I liked the designs of the characters. I think there was nothing too crazy about their designs. They were just, like... Just boys, you know? Like, really sweet. And, and I noticed, too, like... When they went into the sun for the first time, like, they were playing all day... They had little sunburnt faces. <laughs> How sweet that they had these little sunburnt faces. I thought, what a lovely detail that they just have little red noses after they've been in the sun all day. So, so cute. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that so that you kind of lose his feet there. I hope that you can see this okay. I think this just needs to go a little higher. Okay, I didn't want them touching, but I'm not gonna draw it all out again because that's gonna be a lot. So he's gonna be looking over here, at lovely Luca. This uh, mouth shape too in the teeth reminded me of um, the movie called uh what are they called Wallace and Gromit <laughs> don't you think the shape of the teeth and everything so I noticed that Alberto has a little more pointy 
fins, and I didn't do it on this one, but a little more pointy fins than Luca, which makes me think he might be a little bit older than him and a little bit maybe more experienced. Maybe like a year or so older than Luca. Because he, he had like these pointy fins. And Luca's mum too had these pointy fins. And dad. But Luca is, you can see his, his fins were like smooth. So I don't think he got, he'd gotten to the age yet where his fins had developed. <laughs> that was my interpretation anyway. He was a little bit younger and not as experienced. So there is the sketch of Alberto. Let me just check his name because I'm annoying myself. Alberto, yeah, it is Alberto. <laughs> so here we go, here's the sketch of Alberto. Um, I think I'm gonna speed up the rest of it and then I'll pop back in when I'm coloring Luca um, because I, I do want to sort of go through that. So I'm gonna speed up the rest of the sketch here and do a little voiceover and then I'll come back to colour some of it in with watercolours. Okay, so I'm just sketching out the houses again. I did do this while the movie was playing, but I saw it for like a split second, um, like the houses in the distance, and I really liked the way it looked. So I wanted to uh, add some more detail. So I got up a picture of the houses, um, and there's a really nice, there's a really nice overlooking picture of them so I did that. Before I start painting I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to um, to get rid of some of the pencil here and I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm so reluctant to do this. Um, it's basically just like erasing all your hard work and all the effort that you put into doing it in the first place. But it's fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna work out fine. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. I think what I wanna do is paint these two things, maybe Donald, maybe them up here. Um, and I want to leave the rest as pencil drawings because I really like the way they look. Maybe these two, hmm, I'll have to have a think. So now we have erased most of those lines and they're very faint here. Get some of those harder lines away. Now I can add the paint. So, I'm nervous, but it'll be fine but I don't have the exact colors of, of the boys here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix up the colors and then we'll see how we get on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is a little scary, but because um, these characters are underwater, I want to make sure that you can tell that they're underwater, so I'm going to do like a blue coat under the whole thing. And this is a color that I don't own. Like I've mixed up a green and a really nice blue. Oh, sorry, not blue, a green and um like a pinky purple color. And it doesn't have to be even because, um, Water's not even, completely even in colour. It's very watery. <laughs> so it's okay if this looks watery or kind of not exactly perfect in colour. So what I'm gonna have to do now that I've done this as a background is be careful when adding any more colours, not to make them too watery otherwise it will reactivate this blue color underneath. So Luca is green from here to here. So, and then he sort of blends into a blue. Um, so here we go. Now I'm not sure if this color will change color, probably a little bit, 
Um, so this color will dry a little bit lighter, I'm hoping. But also it will be a different color than what I've mixed it because of the background being this dark blue. Um, and I have to work quite quickly because the background being already painted means that if I if I scrub it too much with my paintbrush, then it will lift some of the colour. So that is actually a much brighter green than what I mixed, um, but it's okay. I think it will still work for Luca. So I need a picture of his arms. It's really difficult actually to get these pictures, <laughs> but I don't think Yeah, his arms are just fully green, I believe, with like little blue scales. So we can put the scales on after, but let's just get the majority of the colour of Luca on. So I'm not 100% sure how or if the colours will mix well together. But we will find out. And hopefully, if there's any sort of mottling happening, of the paint then hopefully it won't be a big deal because they're underwater. Okay so this is where I have to work more quickly. So I've got the next colour here which is a more aqua green. Oh see that's very watery which is not what I wanted. Um because it's going to get a bit blot blotchy. Let's see if I can do the little ears as well over here. So before this dries, I just sort of want to mix these together with the layer underneath. Keep drying off my brush. So I'm hoping by making little dots like this that I'm sort of blurring the lines between the two. So I'm just going to let that dry as evenly as possible and hope that that gives me <laughs> the right kind of effect that I'm hoping for. Um, I'm just going to stand my book up too so it doesn't pull the paint that way too much. I'm very sorry about that. My camera cut out and you didn't see me paint his tail. <laughs> but basically I did the darker colour here and then I did a lighter colour at the top or I just used less, sorry, more water and less pigment to get that bit to be a bit lighter on the top. So for the rest of the video I'm going to jump into a voiceover because it's about to pour down with rain and I am really slow at painting. Um, but yeah, I'm just adding the hair and I'm just doing it a little bit of a layer, layer at a time. And that's all you need to know really. Here we are up in the voiceover, continuing the uh, video. Um, so for this painting or illustration, I wanted to do it more detailed and actually try and go in there with the watercolours and make it look three dimensional in some ways as well and that just naturally takes more time so I couldn't put this whole video into uh, real time otherwise it might be like four hours long or something. Um, I actually filmed this video over a couple of days because I just wanted it to be right and I don't have that much time to film it at the moment. So so yeah, it did take me a couple of days to do. Uh, I would say it took me mm, maybe five hours, six hours overall. Maybe not that long. I don't know. I'm not sure because of, it was over a couple of days, but I'm, I mean the entire thing, not just this one little illustration of Luca and Alberto. Um, but yeah, so it was really fun actually for me to to paint like this again. It's been a little while since I have done, done any painting like this. Um, usually I just like to get any sort of colour down and then layer with other paints or pens or 
pencils or whatever um so to actually have a really solid base for the character and to try and actually make it look like the character and not like my own interpretation was something I haven't done for a little while um so it was really fun to do and actually just looking back on my work from even a year ago like I would not have been able to do this as well and I noticed that I'm using little techniques that I've learned along the way just like a little bit of this technique and a little bit of that technique and without realizing it these things have stuck in my muscle memory um, it might be something to do with shading or the eye shape or um, the way the light hits the characters or anything like that um, so after I put the main flat lay of color down I then used my Holbein pencil crayons colored pencils and I added some extra detail and something that I really didn't want to do on this illustration is add any black to it because the moment I added black it would become very harsh and um, and I just wanted it to be very light and not not so harsh um, if I did add a black line it would be very very fine I think uh, I don't think it needs that thick line around it um, with all the shading. Also, close up, I was really not happy with the way I shaded Alberto's shorts and top, but looking at it from <laughs> from here in video, it actually looks really nice. Um, it looks quite smooth, so yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I wasn't happy with that at first. Um, so just to keep the the focus on Luca and Alberto I didn't do too much in the background I just did a few little bits of seaweed and I wrote Luca across the top um, and I was really happy with it I could have added more shade in I could have gone more in depth but I, I was really happy with it at this point and I didn't want to do any more to it I was just really happy with the way it looked um, so then moving on to the left side of the page I did a completely different style of watercolour which was basically just slapping the colours on <laughs> anywhere and everywhere um, and I was doing the houses from the movie and there's just the just the whole setting is really really beautiful um, and I wanted to capture those yellow cream um, coral and pink houses um, I love the colours and the whole colour of the movie itself is just so bright and airy and cheerful um, and I really wanted to paint that. So I did those houses in the sort of painterly watercolour style. Um, I didn't add any outlines for that either. And then I, so I really like that, I'm really happy with how they those little houses turned out. And then I did this vintage Donald. <laughs> Um, and that was so easy like as you can see I just sort of I sort of did that in no time in comparison to the the drawing of Luca and um, Alberto so you can kind of see the comparison of how quickly I did those two I know I've sped it up but how quickly I did the two houses and how much time it takes to do the extra detail um, that I don't usually do so so yeah so then in the top left corner again was a more um like quick sped up style of watercolor um which is really nice it still gives a very similar effect um to the the two on the right but there's just not as much detail there so it's obviously a little bit more hand drawn or looks a bit more hand drawn i think um and then i added some little characters from the movie so when i was watching the movie these are the characters that kind of stood out to me or the things that i thought were interesting now i'd actually really like to watch it again and take down face expressions because that was something i noticed was really prominent in this film was like a lot of the face expressions were it was just very um expressional so like even the the dad who looked so like 
grumpy and he would lift his eyebrow and you could see his eye underneath and that would change his whole um, emotion in that moment and I just thought that was really clever and very subtle things make a huge difference to characters expressions and how they're feeling so I did want to explore that a little bit it was something I noticed um, and especially Luca he has the cutest little face and the cutest little expression so I'd really like to get some of those down um, on paper but maybe when I have a little bit more time um, so I wanted to leave the other things as sketches I just thought it balanced out nicely with the rest of the illustration and I didn't want to take away too much from the main drawing there of Luca and Alberto so um, I just added some more uh, shading and I was done that was it so I know this is a long video but I hope you've enjoyed it um, please join me again next Sunday for a new video and thank you so much to everyone that is supporting me at the moment whether it's subscribing or commenting or following me on Instagram anything like that it really does mean the world to me I'm having an absolute blast exploring my art style and this whole art journey that I'm going on so having support and comments and having people subscribe it just it makes me happy it makes me really really happy and I, and yeah I just want to say thank you so yeah I hope you enjoyed this um have a lovely week everyone and I will see you again next Sunday with a brand new video take care everybody bye